So welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well, hope everybody is safe and you've had a great week. So this week's going to be a project with a little bit of learning curve in it for me. Um, I've got this blank, I don't know exactly what species it is, it was in a um, one of those 20 kilo bags I bought, I don't know, ages ago and I think I've got this one and maybe one other left from the lot that I bought and I thought I'd use this up for this project. So what I want to do is I want to have a bash with the Joe Sonia um, intrinsic colours. I've seen several people use them and you get some amazing effects so what I'm planning to do is um, I want a natural base so it gives me a nice curve um, nice high shine, maybe put a little bit of texture in it, I'm not 100% sure yet um, but I just want something really just plain and natural on the bottom and then my plan is up for the top is to do a nice band on the top um, lacquer it with the ebonized and chestnut black lacquer and then go over the top of that with the Joe Sonia intrinsic colours and then obviously we'll, um, we'll give it a nice polish and then I'll hollow out the middle to give a nice shine. So that's the plan. Um, I've never used the Joe Sonia intrinsic colours before. I've been wanting to use them for a long, long time and I bit the bullet and ordered a set, the starter set. I think there's six colours in the starter set. So um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out. But if worse comes to worse, if it looks rubbish, we'll take it back and do it all over again. So that is the plan. So let's get this on the lathe and get the bottom turned and uh, see what we can come up with. Meet you over at the lathe. shine on it now I'm gonna get even better shine on it so I'm gonna give it a coat of Yorkshire grit Yorkshire grit the wood turn is abrasive paste um, and then um, I may give it a coat of the ultra the fine as well um, the reason being is I really want a nice high gloss shine on there without having to try to um, lacquer it so if I can get a good finish on this with just wax so that means I've only got a really lacquer on the top. Um, so that's my plan. So hopefully we can succeed. And hopefully with the Yorkshire grits and the finishing paste or finishing wax, we can get a nice finish on it. Time will tell. That is pretty.
at long last I've decided what I'm going to do with this. I turned this bowl over three weeks ago. Um, for you it's been seconds but for me it was over three weeks. It's been sat on the bench um, collecting dust and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with it. I know I want to use the Joe Sonia colours because um, I've just bought the six colours and I knew I wanted to do them but I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do string pulling on it. I've been playing around with string pulling, I'm still not 100% confident on what I'm doing with the string pulling. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to do a style that I've seen a few people do and what it is is you just basically dobbing it on with a brush. So I've got this fan style brush um, and I'm going to do that. So the colours I'm going to use are red, violet, uh, blue and turquoise. So they're the colours I want to use. So I'm going to put some on here, don't need a lot, and then I'm just going to splat it all over um, different pressures to try and give different styles and then we're going to do the colours and basically we'll see how it comes out. If worse comes the worst, I'll turn it off and do it again. But like I said, I've been taxing my brain for three weeks to um, try and get this how I want it. And I'm, I just, I'm just unsure of how I want it. So this is what I've decided to do. And again, it's all trial and error. Never done this before. Never used the Joe Sonia colors on a piece before. So it's either going to work or it's not. So we'll see. First colour I'm going to do will be the violet. I'm going to put a normal lot, so I'm not going to put a great deal on the board. And I'm just going to dob the brush into it. I don't want too much on there to be honest. And I'm just going to dob it all over, move the brush about. And I'm going to build the colours up over the top so um, we'll end up with different colours blending into it. Trying to get the colours to the edge because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hollow this so it's like hollow formed or oh, hollowed on on the inside. So this is going to be turned out, but we're going to go over to where we want and uh, see what happens basically. But the thing I like about these colours are you get the texture of your brush, so that is really nice. Right, so that's the um, violet. So now we'll go for the turquoise, give it a good shake so we get the pigments mixed up. And the same principle. You go just scatter it about. I still want some of the purple through it. So basically I'm using the purple as a base. So this one is blue. I don't know how much difference there'll be between the blue and the purple, but we'll soon find out. thing is that you're getting every time you touch it you're getting a different shape which is which is quite cool actually too much 
too high up there because obviously we're going to be turning that out. So then the final colour is red. So how red this will come out, I'm unsure. So we'll put the red on there. Actually looks a bit like leaves. <laughs> All scattered on it. So as they say, more is less. So I don't want to go over too much and um, spoil it really. So I'm going to leave it at that. I ain't going to go no further now. So I'll just put my thumb on the other side. So that's the pattern we've got. We'll leave it to dry and we'll see how it comes out. The Joe Sonia colours, as we all know, they're all one colour, but as they dry, they will change to their uh, colours. So uh, we'll leave it like that and uh, see how it comes out. So um, we'll be back when it's dried. It's time to finish this. It's all dry now, as you can see. It's had two coats of matte uh, clear coat. So we've got a nice sheen on it, as you can see. I didn't want a high gloss on it, I just want a sheen on it. Because I felt that a gloss may take away some of the nice colours. And as you can see, there are some really awesome colours on there. So my plan is to get it um, and hollow it out a little bit not a great deal just enough to um, give me a bit of a contouring so I'm going to try and turn it back to around here and then try and get in and hollow it out as much as I can get it in with the with the hollowing tools I've got um, because I want to try and keep it as much as this as I can but there again I want it to hollow out as a lot, what do they call it hollow form? I don't know, whatever they call it, but I want to hollow it out a little bit. So like I said, I'm only going to come out to about there, perhaps so that'll be maybe a four inch gap in the top, and then try and hollow it out as much as I can. I'm not going to go right down to the bottom, um, it's going to be quite chunky, but I need to, I want to hollow it out to get rid of some of the weight because it's quite a heavy piece. So that is the plan. So let's crack it on and uh, See how we go.
so got a hold of that now. Um, not gone too deep, only gone about what inch and a half deep. Um, like I say, it's just a decorative piece, so um, it's not going to really have a lot of uses. So my plan is now is to um, sand and seal this Yorkshire grit it. I want to leave that natural at the back, so Yorkshire grit that to get a nice uh, finish on it, and then we'll put some micro crystalline wax in there to um, give it a hard wear and finish just let the methylated spirits dry off which I've just wiped it with to draw the dust out of the grain so yeah but what I want to do as well while I've got the Yorkshire grit I want to do the back again because where I sprayed it got a little bit of a, a textured feel where obviously your over spray has been on it so we'll just go over that just to clean that back up so we get a nice clean shiny finish again but I like it um, I like the distance here. I wanted to bring. I was going to bring it back a little bit further, but then you lose all the all the shapes and the patterns. And um, like my wife says, they actually look like leaves, different coloured leaves. So uh, I like it. For my first attempt with Joe Sonia colours, I am pleased with it. I'm not. Yeah, I'm pleased. I don't think there's anything different I could do. Okay, yes, I've learned a few things from doing it, but. Um, yeah, I like it, I do like it. enjoyed the video thanks for making it to the end there may be a couple of videos down below that you might be interested in um, if you do pop over and check them out also if you're a subscriber to the channel then thank you very much for your continuous support and if you're not a subscriber to the channel then pop over and click this link here to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified for all my latest uploads so anyway guys take care speak to you soon